Happy Memorial Day, guys. Today, I have a story time video for you. So, this story time video is a Memorial Day run. One of the things that made me uh, so patriotic, I guess you could say, or so much someone who loves this country, wants to learn about it, wants it to survive, wants it to be preserved as it, as it was originally founded, things like that was a assembly, I guess you could call it, we had in school. Now, this is out west, so the school there is different than it is here in the east. So basically, what they had us do is one, um, it wasn't the Memorial Day, it was a Friday before we got out, basically, and we had a big assembly in the, uh, oh my gosh, it wasn't actually where we had PE, it was actually where we ate the cafeteria. And they had three veterans come in and talk to us, and we got to ask them questions. And I can just remember, it, it will always stick with me, always. Um, this uh, older gentleman was telling about telling us what it was like to fight in the World Wars. I believe it was World War II. And how you became comradic, you know, with your guys. You guys went through all this stuff and everything, and you had all of these things that you had to go through with them. You had their backs. Your life was dependent on these guys. And then you watch them die. And not only do you watch them die, you sometimes had to leave them there, the bodies. You, every time, you know, you hear the American, you see the American flag, you hear our, our you know, our song, <clears throat> all that stuff. All he can see is those faces. That's what America means to him is his buddies that he left back there that that died that fought for the country fought for you know however you want to see it whether you think he fought for the government or not that's what they fight for they fight for the guy to the right and to the left they fight for the families they left behind that's what they fight for so i have a great appreciation for our military i mean this gentleman when he was telling us a story halfway through just broke down and cried because those are people that he loved he watched die so when people crap on america when people say america is not the greatest place in the world when people say those things i see that man crying over his buddies that died in these wars and people like to say you know well america's awful america didn't do this that or the other and all I'm going to say is a nation is built of people who all of them have problems. All of them have things that need to get fixed. But you cannot crap on America in front of me anyway. <laughs> I won't. I won't sit there and listen to it. I will leave. If, if people, I believe people can have their opinion, but I don't have to stick around and listen to it. If they're willing to talk to me about it, then yeah, that's great, but most people aren't. And I've, I've done that before. Uh, I've been in a person's house with my, with my dad. She started just crapping on America, and I was just like, I don't have to listen to this, and I'm not going to. You are not going to crap on America around me. And I left her house. And when she asked my dad, well, what's that all about? And he's like, well, you know, you're crapping on America, and she loves this place you know you're, you're not she she believes you can say whatever in your own house but she doesn't have to sit there and listen to it so she left i won't do it guys i i not only know and believe that this is the greatest nation in the world history proves it what we're going through right now proves it uh, everything to me even with all the bad that's happened this is the best place in the world I was watching a Joe Rogan where this fighter from Cuba talks about how he's happy the way his life has gone because every day he wakes up in America. Does he go back and visit Cuba? Yes, he does because he has family there. Does he want to bring his family here? Yes, he does. Every day he wakes up and thanks God that he's here. And that is mostly because of our military. That's because of these people who died and watched their buddies die and 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 are left out of family because they go out and they defend our borders okay they defend America they defend you they defend me they come home and they they've lost time with their family especially if they have kids 
that's a big deal. That's not a small thing. This man uh, on the Joe Rogan, which I'll put in the description so you guys can go watch it, just where he starts talking about it, <clears throat> starts talking about how people in Cuba will stagger. He tells the story of two brothers, where one brother leaves, the next brother does stuff, then he leaves. The second brother, when he finds his first brother, his first brother is dead. There, are, there's, there's signs of animal activity of, on the body, things like that, and he has to just sort of cross himself, cry for a second, and go and leave and try to get to America. If America is not great, why is this sacrifice, you know, something people are willing to do? That is my question to everyone who thinks America sucks. Why are you still here if you hate this country? Go live where you think it's better. I mean, that is how I feel about it. I believe, <clears throat> and I know, that people died so I can sit here in front of this camera and say what I believe and what I know freely. That's what, that's what our military does. Every day, all the time, you are sitting in front of anywhere, you are talking to anyone, and you can say whatever you want. That's because of our military. That's because of the foundation, the founding documents, the founding ideas, the Christianity that this nation was formed on. That's why you get to do that. And I think to ignore that and say, oh, well, it sucks here because I can't do, you know, I can't just get what I want. Or it sucks here because people are mean here and they kill other people. You know what? That's not enough for me. There, there has to be more to your story than that. I, I always, every Memorial Day, every like 4th of July, think about that old gentleman who sat on that stage and cried in front of hundreds of children talking about his buddies, talking about how when he went over there, it'll be an experience he never will forget, but does not ever want to talk about. He said he didn't mind talking to us because he hopes we learn something. When they, he was in a wheelchair also, like he was, he was old enough that he could not support himself. So, and they rolled him off that stage and before they did, he said, I hope my story encourages you to love America because I spent my life defending her and my buddies died for her. And if you think that's a small thing, probably need to rethink what you're what you're thinking there <laughs> okay guys happy memorial day remember those people who make whatever it is you're doing today whether it's a whether it's a you know you're eating out with your family you're eating at home with your family you're doing nothing you're hanging out you got a day off or you have to work whatever it is you're doing you're able to make money and do those things because of the sacrifices that other people put forward before you came along so I want to say thank you to any service members who are watching this, anyone who has served, and anyone who is going to. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.